Don't. Hi guys, we're going to talk about the phases of cell cycle. Uh, the question is, how do multicellular organisms grow, perform, maintenance, <laughs> maintenance, or repair? <laughs> so they do this by cell division or mitosis. And in this project, we're going to talk and explain the different phases of mitosis. Mitosis is the phase of the cell cycle where chromosomes and the nucleus are evenly divided between two cells. When the cell division process is complete, two daughter cells identical genetic material are produced. There are different phases of mitosis, which are the general one is the interphase where it's like before a dividing cell enters mitosis, it undergoes a period of growth called interphase. About 90% of a cell's time in the normal cell cycle may be spent in inter interphase. So interphase divides itself in three phases, G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. So G1 phase is the, pre is the, period, the period prior to the synthesis of DNA. And in this phase, the cell increases in a mass in preparation for the cell division. One phase is the first gap phase. S phase is the period during the DNA is synthesized. And in most cells, there is a narrow window of a time during which DNA is synthesized. Oh, uh, we're going to talk about the G2 phase now. Finally, the G2 phase inside the interface is the period after the DNA synthesized has, has occurred, but prior to the start of prophase. The cell synthesizes proteins and continues to increase in size. Now we're going to talk about the prophase. And in prophase, the chromatin con condenses into discrete chromosomes, such as like the nuclear envelope breaks down and like spindles form at opposite poles of the cells. During the prophase, a number of important changes occur, such as chromatin fibers, like chromatin fibers become collide into chromosomes, which each chromosome having them two chromatids join at a centromere. Secondly, the mitotic, mitotic is spinal that make up spindle fibers <laughs> reach from each cell pole to the cell's equator. The kinetochore fibers interact with the spindle polar fibers, connecting the kinetochores to the polar fibers. So the third phase, in metaphase, the spindle reaches maturity and the chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. <laughs> During this phase, a number of changes occur. The nu nuclear membrane disappears completely and the polar fibers continue to extend from the poles to the center of the cell, both sides of their central mirrors. Lastly, chromosomes are held at the metaphase plate by the equal forces of the polar fibers pushing the center of mirrors of the chromosomes. So now we are in the fourth phase, which is anaphase. In anaphase, the pair of chromosomes separate and begin moving to opposite ends, which are called poles of the cell. Um, spindle fibers, um, not connected to chrom chromatids, lengthen, <laughs> lengthen and elongate the cell. At the end of anaphase, each pole contains a complete compilation of chromosomes. As you can see here, through the spindle apparatus, the daughter chromosomes move to the poles at the opposite end of the cells, and the daughter chromosomes migrate centromere first, and the kinochore fibers become shorter as the chromosomes near a pole. The two cell poles also move farther apart during the course of anaphase. Now we're going to talk about the telophase, which in telophase, the chromosomes are cordoned off into distinct new nuclei in the emerging daughter cells. The polar fibers continue to lengthen. Nuclei begin to form at opposite poles. The nuclear envelopes of this nuclei form form remnant pieces are envelope and form pieces of the endomembrane system. And the last phase is cytokinesis. This is how cytokinetics look like. And it is the division of the cell cytoplasm, and it begins prior to the end of mitosis and anaphase. These cells are haploid cells containing one half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. Okay, sex cells undergo meiosis. When sex cells unite during fertilization, these haploid cells be become a diploid cell. So this is how mitosis 
it works and this is the cell cycle phase and how it actually works yeah thank you for watching i we hope you enjoyed